Oakland forward Brent Cooper was inducted into the HCHA Hall of Fame here in Naples, Florida. Uh, during my time at Oakland, we won two national championships, 1D2, 1D1. I think there was an understanding that uh, during that transition that we wouldn't be able to excel at the higher level. Um, I'm glad we were able to prove everyone wrong by winning back-to-back -back titles. Um, during the Division I championship run, uh, we had to go through Lindenwood, Illinois, Penn State, um, which were uh, top, top uh, three or four teams ranked that year. Uh, you know, I, I was with Hoke, Sean, when we were putting Will in and, you know, looking at numbers and they kept sending out the emails for it. Um, you know, and I talked to Sean and, and Coach Backus about it and we decided, you know, get Coop in because he'd be the next one in line to come from us. And, you know, it's just filling out the paperwork, getting the recommendations, getting everything sent in on time. And, and then Coop called me one afternoon and he's like, yeah, I just got a call from the ACHA and I'm in the Hall of Fame. So, and here we are today. He's inducted and place in history. Yeah, they told me that we were uh, the only school in the league, uh, in the ACHA here, to have two members uh, be inducted. So I'm very honored to be part of that. And uh, I think it's it's good recognition on the, the school itself about the, the talent that we've brought in and, you know, the, uh, the high praise that the uh, university has. Um, well, I think it's more of a testament to the players. I mean, I, at that time, I was real young in my career, and... Um, like Jack Barker said, but the players probably won more games for us than uh, I had a chance to screw it up for them. So, um, but it was uh, those two guys, Will and, and Cooper, at that time of the ACHA were were by far the most dominant players of that era. Um, what they were able to do night in and night out made it a lot of fun to watch. Made made my job real easy. Former Oakland head coach Sean Hogan tells us some of his favorite memories from Cooper. Oh man, there, there, there's so many, but. In, in terms of, obviously, that, that pass that he made versus Illinois to win the game with about 30 seconds left when we sent Will on the breakaway. But um, outside of like the playing moments, Cooper was a special guy. Um, he, he was a lot of fun to be around. He made hockey fun. He made the locker room fun. Um, as you could tell in his speech, he, he, he's, a, you know, he, he's a great person. And I think that's what makes him most special is um, he, he, as a guy, he made everything a lot of fun. Uh, his toe drag to backhand sauce to getting blown out against uh, Illinois to give the puck to Will to send him in on a breakaway to go up uh, with a minute left. Cooper tells us how important playing for Oakland was in helping develop him in his current career. Um, yeah, you know, it. I think coming to Oakland, I was, uh, like I said, I was able to focus a lot more on school. Uh, professionally, it, it, you know, it grew me up as a, as a student. Uh, I was able to, you know, drastically improve my GPA. And, uh, you know, I was able to, uh, professionally, also go back to to Wayne State post uh, post Oakland and uh, get my uh, MBA. So I think you know playing for Oakland really helped me. You know, f you know in the, in the hockey world, but as far as uh, you know, as well as professionally as well.